and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Lucian, our next deck. We're going to gonna, we're going to be combining Frostbite with Challenger. So we're going to be combining Ash and Demacia. You know, got a bunch of good Challenger stuff. And then we're also Frostbiting things with the help of Ash, Brittle Steel, Harsh Winds, um, a couple Ice Veil Archers in here as well. Um... So, you know, like, we should be getting ahead and owning in combat and, uh, you know, having that lead us to victory. Uh, I really like this one Laurent Duelist that can give an ally challenger. I think this works great with your quick attacks with, like, your Lucian and your Senna. You can give them challenger. And it also works great with Ash. It's really nice to give Ash challenger because Ash, whenever Ash attacks, um, you can have Ash block the thing that gets frostbitten right so then you don't because a lot of times like you worry about ash attacking because you frostbite one thing and then they block with the second thing that's going to kill the ash mm -hmm. um and so duelist will like give the ash challenger and then you get to challenge the thing that's frostbitten that's that's pretty cool i like that um but then you know we got a good curve a bunch of great spells in here brittle steel elixir of iron yeah lots of great one one mana cards we do have to kind of worry about running out of gas uh, towards the later games and that's that's where like our lancer creating another elite can help and genevieve elmhart just helps finish out games that's what we'd have to be a little worried about hopefully we just get ahead and stay ahead i'm honestly not sure if a deck like this if like lucian and senna are are honestly that good compared comparatively like if you just play like i don't even know if that's an upgrade over playing bright uh bright steel protector in your two mana slot and then fiora in your three mana slot i'm not you know like um not sure if that's better or even just playing like bright steel protector and laurent uh uh i don't know the three mana two four challenger y'all know what i'm talking about laurent whatever protege just playing those two and then that would give you another spot for um a champion at the top end whether it's garen or sejuani um, you know, there's there's a lot of power you can do in these regions, but we are playing Lucian and Ash together, so it is going to be Winter Lucian. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Um, Radiant Guardian would help out against Aggro, but that's not where I'm concerned with this deck. I think this deck should be great against Aggro with all of the cheap units, all of the cheap combat spells, you know, combat tricks and stuff. Um, I wouldn't be worried. I would be worried about running out of cards against a control deck. So I, I don't think you need Radiant Guardian in a deck like this. I wouldn't play it. All right, core deck with the donation deck. With a crazy meme tier Monday deck. Man, what is what is this? Just draw. We mulligan two six drops and we draw three six drops again. Okay, this was not not the best luck. So there's there's a few ways to get 20 damage on turn two. Wait, what? Really? So that's what that's what our meme tier deck's gonna be about. There are some ways to get. 20 damage on a turn mercy. two. That's crazy. This one's trouble. Okay. All right, that's the code. So, um, so turn one sparring student and then a bunch of oblivious islanders and fading memories and just a bunch of zero mana things with your sparring student and shadow fiend, curse keeper, stuff like that. Curse keeper and a butcher with that kind of stuff. the ice veil archer but this is definitely an unfortunate ice veil archer courage masks the heart from fear 
Uh, I'm going over to. I'm going over and pasting the link now. Because yeah, it won't, it won't save since it's not in the message. I'll protect the villages. Don't duck on my account. We've been through a lot. So, of course, super unlikely, but it is mathematically possible to get turn, turn to 20 damage, huh? I did not even realize that that was even uh, possible, to be honest. But we got, we got very unlucky this game with our draws. These are dangerous lands. Even that would have liked to have that last turn. Pledge yourself to the shadows. I guess I can't fight Zed because then they get a 3 2 and I lose. This was, I think, the absolute worst possible. Like, this was like the worst that, that this deck can ever look. Our, yeah, this was pretty ridiculous. Brittle steel. Nope. Today you are king. Feed Demacia. Need a brittle steel. Follow my lead. Move with purpose. Well, they had they had triple omen hawk. So yeah, that was our, our deck will never look that bad ever again. <laughs> that was I think our deck's a lot better than that. The worst cards. And what I mean by that, like, if, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, is it's just, um, like, we had mo our six mana cards are not something you want early, and neither with, like, four and five mana, right? Like, you want your lower cost cards right away, and we had multiple six mana things in our first hand. We mulligan, and then we get three or four six mana cards immediately afterwards and it was just just some pretty poor luck in that respect
Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. I'm just going to be saving Brittle Steel. I know, sure, I could use Brittle Steel to kill a 2-2, but I, I think that we can do better with Brittle Steel than that, especially when we have, like, Ash, where we want to protect Ash. I don't think just because I can use Brittle Steel to, to make a 2-2, I don't think it's the best use of Brittle Steel that we have. Harsh winds really do like us. Which, I mean, Harsh Wind is a great card. I don't know if we need this many of them, but... It is a great card. We'll level up this Ash pretty quickly. That Flea Feather Tracker challenge does make it so, like, Twisted Fate Red card is kind of bad for me. Okay, we'll be using that now. I like that. I wish I would have had that the previous... You know, I wish we would have just switched those two and I would have drawn Elixir of Iron to protect the Challenger. Easy. Yeah, that was an awkward game for um, our 3-1. Um, last game, like, you know, Avros and Sentry, you know, that is a two-drop that we could play. Um, that was definitely a pretty awkward game for our 3-1 that Flash Freeze is something the previous game. I will unite the frail but... I think that card leveling up Ash or Bright Steel Protector, I think those are both better two drops than Avros and Sentry in this kind of deck. It's just not again specifically control, you'd probably rather have the Sentry. Um But I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be Bright Steel Protector. Maybe you know, maybe Bright Steel Protector is just better than the three one with the frostbite. Feed Demacia! Most of the time, Harsh Winds is going to be a lot better than Flash Freeze. We just kind of ran into a a weird game of just drawing all Harsh Winds, which isn't something that's going to happen too often. 
But a lot of times, like especially against like the other Ash Sejuani decks and stuff, like you need those those harsh winds because there's just too many. You know, there's usually multiple bodies that you want to be frostbiting with the one card. Nope, yeah, this does have to be two separate enemies. We don't get to do the same enemy with this. Alright, just getting this Ash to level up. That's, you know, kind of a waste of that Harsh Winds, but I just want the Ash to level up. And they can't block with these, so I could put them down to three, but there's not a whole lot of difference between three and five. I'm going to try to kill the Powder Keg. Because they're probably playing some kind of spell anyway, and so, like, I mean, it's just a bad challenge. If they go straight to attack, some I'll just be harsh winsing the two. Um, if they don't, we'll go Crystal Arrow. Merely pawn in a greater game. Sentinels. when victory is at stake. Fire! What? There's just no reason not to attack with Leviathan last turn. They certainly should have attacked with Leviathan. Um, probably the Bilgewater board, best soundtrack. I do like the... I do, I, I, like when you combine them both, I'd probably say this board. I really like the look of this board, and I think the music with this board is, is awesome also. Um, so this one is maybe my favorite overall. I really like the look of this. Through the coral. The 
quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Let's just stun the strongest ones. I don't know. We can't. We can't do that. All right, let's get the shark in here. You want the the bloom tooth or the gloom tooth? Which shark? Bloom tooth. Standard. Gloom tooth. Okay, we don't want to have. Oh. You know, we don't want to only draw Brittle Steels and Harsh Winds. <laughs> you know, like, that's just not... Uh, you know, that was just another game of just drawing so many spells. We don't want... We, you gotta have units. You gotta have a lot of units with this kind of deck. You want to be curving out with units, which we did our first four turns. Our first four turns were really good. We had a... I can't complain at all about our first four turns. The problem is, is we really didn't do anything turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn... You know, like, after that, we didn't do anything. And that's where we lost it. But we did curve out the first four turns. Okay. Omen Hawk, Lucian, Senna. We'll take that. And I guess we didn't really do anything turn one previous, you know, that other game. It was turn two, turn three, turn four, right? No, no, we did. We did turn one. Yeah, no. So, yeah, we had a good first four turns last time. Do I keep second Lucian? Yeah, we'll keep second Lucian. When you're mulliganing with these kind of decks, this is what you want. You want all of these. Don't get in my you want the cheap units first and and start loading the board up with a bunch of cheap units. And then you want like a harsh winds to finish the game and not just draw multiple harsh winds right at the beginning of the game, which we had done with the other games. This is a real spin to win. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. Spin, 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 you win. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're by my side. Sorry, Ash, I want to get Lucian and Senna in play together. Yeah, Gloomtooth helping out. Both of our first two two decks we did well with, and I'm pretty sure we used the shark in both of those. I'm always up for a round or two. Who says I don't share? My gun does the talking. Pretty nice. So I will have Harsh Winds mana next turn if they like have a large, like super large slot bot that they're attacking with and I need to. problem when you're by my side. They're just going to kill every Lucian. Again, it's pretty likely they kill Senna. And so getting Lucian in so that if they do kill Senna, then our Lucian levels up. Twisted Fate's about to level up. 
We need more challengers to go with all of our frostbite stuff. You're our challenger, tracker. Oh, that's true. We used Kit with Cat. With our pets. Or guardians. Yeah, single combat. Love that. Faster than my arrow? I think not. I guess they got disconnected. That's too bad. Show me a target. No room for doubt. This is mercy. That's too bad. Like leave after third? No, because they played something after third, Lucian. Okay, well, well, Gloomtooth's bringing our luck back. Cause they played pick a card after the third, Lucian, and then like DC'd after that. We haven't had very good games yet, these three. Um, I do think that like that like these winter like these frostbite spells with Demacia are really good, but I think to really take advantage of frostbite with Demacia, you need lots of challengers, because that's that like turns your stuff into your frostbite cards into removal and everything. And so I'm still just not sure if. Um, you know, I'm just not sure with Lucian in this, this kind of deck. Yeah, I kind of think that maybe we should have Fiora instead of Lucian. And then, like, well, Fiora instead of Senna, and then Brightsteel Protector instead of Lucian. Or just... Another day in the field. Oh, 2-2, two, two, Teemo? That's pretty good. Not and ready. Ooh, that's a good, good call. This could be a Laurent Chevalier deck. That, um, yeah, it can strike and, and gr get new challengers. Yeah, I bet this, I bet that card would be great in here with all the frostbite stuff. I could certainly see that. In a world full of monsters, I'm glad I have you. That'll never change. Who goes there? An auspicious season. Hmm. Hello, love. In the field, you call me commander. Not and ready. My gun does the talking. That 
would turn both of these into Blessed by snow and stars. So I'm going to be killing the there we go. Let's say I'm going to be killing this Teemo with the single combat, but like they've always had like uh, mana also and it's like if they were ever tapped out we'd be casting it but we just didn't have like a great opportunity to cast it fury of the north should help us do that you own what you take I want to level up Lucian also and kill the Senna. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. That's pretty good too. That thing's a 6-5. That's better against Sejuani. But I'm gonna play Elm Heart, make it harder to kill all these things. I think we're doing good. We'll see, but I think we're doing good. One and one. Ah, oh, an auspicious season. And that just levels up my Lucian. That's just the best thing to do. Is I was trying to see, think if we could kill Sejuani without using Fury of the North, but it's just the best thing to do. So we have a double attack Lucian and a double attack Senna. And they just have two cards in hand. Like, we should be good. Not a good attack. That was not a good attack. Should this be game? There we go, GG's. Yeah, that's definitely whenever you get to like the, the real sweet spot of like Rest. Lucian rallies and stuff. But you saw there we had a whole lot more units and we didn't just have a ton of spells. That's, that's what I mean about us being pretty unlucky those first two games. Like our deck has 26 units, 14 spells. And those first two games our just hand was just loaded with spells and didn't like have units to keep playing.
Um, especially how we, you know, like this kind of, like you mulligan away spells for the most part. Like maybe your one mana ones you keep, but um, the any spell that's not a one mana spell gets mulliganed. Most likely, I guess, maybe a single combat you can keep. All right, Misfortune Quinn. With our Frostbite and our Challenge, I think we should do just fine in this kind of matchup. We don't want to keep two Brittle Steels. Um, I think I'm Mulligan Senna, too. I really want one drops. One and two drops. There we go. One one drop. Ugh. Single combat harsh winds. New recruit reporting in. Come on, units. Not good. Unit. Oh my gosh. Who does not know the name Laurent? The dead, deader. Yeah, this did not go well. I'll do my best. Uh -huh. Good, we just want to keep drawing units. Don't want another spell. Purity and peace. Don't want another spell at all. So we're, we're even on cards, right? Like, we both have four cards, two units in play. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Hot damn, it's the boss. You best start running. That one's not the best. Here we go. I really, I really wish I had the mana to go to Harsh Winds and Single Combat to back it up. Um, maybe that was just no. Let's see what we can do here if you know Senna dies. Like if we fight, have Senna fight Quinn, then our Lucian will level up. Come on. Well, that makes life more difficult. I don't want them to have another scout. <clears throat> I want them to have to attack with Quinn. As far as a scout goes. Not and ready. Well, that didn't work 
out. I'll defend these forests to oh, the end. Gosh. We will defend them to the end. These woods belong to us. Scouting ahead. As long as they don't have... Yeah, sometimes the single combats just don't work out. That's With a, with a deck with such small units like we have, sometimes the single combats don't work out. Um... As long as they like don't have a tough card. Be fine. Okay. We can maybe be fine. Stay back. Stay back. So we have leveled up Lucian, but what does what does leveled up Lucian do? do here. We'll see. Um, you know, Swiftwing Lancer, Genevieve Elmhart, Ash. These are all the kind of cards we want to draw. Looks like we get Elixir of Iron. You shall go no farther. Drawing the one drops now. Hold nothing back. I guess I guess I should be single combating the other way, shouldn't I? Doesn't doesn't matter too much. I guess it's supposed to be the other way. I'm gonna try one more. A lot of those games weren't too good. I wanna try one more. I'm gonna I'm gonna just switch some stuff up for though though for this this last game. What if we played we just played a lot of this card? Actually, and Duelist. Get get Duelist back. Sorry, excuse me there. Get rid of Icefield Archer. Get another concerted strike. I mean, harsh winds has such high ups. I like no, I like harsh winds. One less Genevieve. So we dropped one spell. A Chevalier should be able to create a bunch of challengers for us. Get another duelist in there. So 
So the thing is, is people saying like, where's your card draw? These, these kind of decks, at least what's supposed to be happening, if things go right, it's basically all like, uh, it's not like actual card draw, but it's just whenever you get to have like free removal with your, with your challengers against their things, um, you know, you just end up, you, know, you get you gain card advantage through combat and not really through things that say draw cards but you gain the card advantage through combat the, it's the decks that don't really care about combat like Ezreal decks that I think are going to be the biggest challenge to decks like decks like this Yeah, I think like with all of our frostbite cards and everything, this Chevalier should be pretty sweet. Um I'm what nightmares be. The problem with Lucian and Senna, This is the problem with Lucian and Senna, they died a mystic shot. And honestly, that's why I don't like Lucian and Senna. Is they die to the most common removal spell mystic shot and then um, and that's why I like Laurent Protégé and Fiora and stuff like that. But so does this Chevalier we just put into the deck. It dies to Mystic Shots as well. I will unite the Frail Yord. I mean, we have Elixir of Irons in the deck. It's like we have three Elixir of Irons to, in the deck. We just don't. We just don't have them. Cold. Yeah, I would love to draw Elixir of Iron. give them free mystic shots strength and grace beauty in the blade born a patrician i became a soldier um the rally works question is how does the rally work in terms of the scouts basically rally is just it checks do you have an attack token right now if you don't have an attack token then and you cast rally then you gain an attack token my strength is yours so that that's how that works uh, but no yes yeah, so you can't get you cannot get and so Scout works where Scout says that the first time, just the first time only Scout units attack each round, you get to gain another attack token. Which I, I wish they, they said it like that, that you gain an attack token instead of ready your attack. It took me a long time to figure out what the heck ready your attack means. Because that's not how like all the rally cards don't say ready your attack. That I don't like that language that they're using. Fight me! For those. To the base. Eat up, friend. Yeah, that's hard for The Chevalier looking nice. Chevalier's been looking nice. Don't blink, or you miss me.
The Chevalier is, is striking first. Dang. Well, that's too bad. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Gotcha. They're out of Mystic. I mean, they've cast a whole bunch of Mystic shots. Hopefully, they're out of Mystic shots. Who does not know the name Laurent? I should have been using the I should have been using the Rhyme Fang Wolf anyway because that thing could, could level up so easily. I really should have used the Rhyme Fang Wolf anyway. Watch and learn. No, GG. No, the game's not over. Come on. Ezreal and then Leviathan. So yeah, basically, I think that there's a lot of good stuff here, and I think you can, I think we can make a good Ash, uh, for, you know, Ash Demacia deck. I just don't think it's Lucian and Senna. I think that these are just the the weak part of our deck, and they're just not, yeah, you know, like they just they, I mean, they did have every single Mystic shot in their deck, but you know, like these things just aren't are always trading poorly and not getting us like these don't. I don't know. I just don't like these Lucians and Sennas. I don't think they're very good. So like if they if they didn't exist and you played, I mean the the point of our deck was to play a Lucian, you know Winter Lucian deck. That's the point of our deck. But I think that the deck's better without Lucian and Senna. Um, basically, you know like the Zed Shen deck that, that I've been playing, or just any of the Demacia decks I've been playing. Um, you know, play Bright Steel Protectors, and with this one you can play Fiora, um, or or the two four. I think the Chevalier is a is a real interesting card to put in this kind of deck. I think that could work out pretty well. Without, um, if you don't play Lucian and Senna, you should not you you shouldn't play the Duelist. The Duelist just goes with the Lucian and Senna. You play Protege instead. So I like I think that this would would just work better um, with Bright Seal Protector, Fiora, Protege, and going this route. Um, over Lucian and Senna. Um, if you're not if you're not married to Lucian. But I 
it's sad because I, I like Lucian. I think Lucian's a really cool card, and like that that kind of combination with Lucian and Senna is really cool. Um, but unfortunately, I just I just don't think it's really where the strength of Demacia is. I think the strength of Demacia is with the challengers, and especially with these frostbite cards, they really want to take advantage of them, and and that's where you get your your card advantage really. And you know, like they like Lucian Senna, neither one of them can block. And that's kind of a problem how you have like two cards that just can never block because you know like they're just so much better on offense. But um uh, it says seem, seems like Demacia works better. Well, that's the thing, is I, I wouldn't just say Demacia works better with barrier than frostbite because we didn't use the you know, I, we'd have to see like how like you know, like the other, like using like that other package would do. Um, Cause just like that last game that we played, you just saw like Lucian and Senna never trade, never trade up, never, um, you know, they're just really easy to kill. And I think just getting more health, getting um, thing, you know, getting like the bright seal protector, they'll give you the barrier. I think it makes it a lot more difficult for those decks to kill those. <clears throat> um right we i played two duelists in that deck that was that was the the thought of try to give lucian and senna challenger but we never we never drew duelist but we had two in there all right but anyway there we go that's winter lucian those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video